Well, here I'm at the Solar Edge Land with Adrian Hawke. Um, what's new in Solar Edge Land? We have so many new things, but we'll take it for a tour. Right, okay. We might as well start here with our, uh, our standalone EV products. Yep. EV charger. So this is a unique product uh, that I requested to come out to Australia. Well, of course, we have our built-in EV charger built into the inverter, uh, which the US has been selling for about five months. Uh, when, I was, when I was in HQ in August, I saw this product and I said, this is what we need for Australia. Uh, bring out the standalone with the built-in. And the reason for that is Australia has uh, restrictions on KVA ratings. So if you have a property where you've already reached a KVA rating for your phase or for your site, uh, if you were to put in the um, just the, the built-in inverter EV charger, if you put PV on that, you increase your KVA rating. So with our standalone product, essentially it works exactly the same, but uh, you don't exceed your KVA rating. So uh, you have the same functionality you do with a built-in EV charger, but you can add it to any existing site, or a storage site, or a three-phase site. So is the purpose of having an EV charger so you can optimise self-use of the solar by yeah. charging your car? That's right. So uh, through our automation app, which uh, you're familiar with with your property, we have a, an EV charging uh, section as well. So you can schedule your charging, you can uh, uh, program how much, P, how much energy to pull from the grid, uh, you know, schedules, uh, remote charging, all that sort of stuff, yeah, so it's an uh, automation, more of an automation product. Is it an AC charger? AC charger, yeah, so okay. it'll charge up to 40 amps AC, uh, and the advantage of that is uh, all cars, while there's different DC voltages they run at, 150 volts, 400 volts, they all take AC. Cool. So it's a, it's, it's a good product to use in the market. So this is a standalone product? But you've uh, this, this is a, when we say standalone, this is um, uh, the, the EV charger, is standalone, so it's outside of a inverter. If we, if we launch it as a single phase inverter with EV charger, it kind of limits the application. But by doing both, we have, you know, you put a new job, you might put in an EV charger inside the inverter, put the PV on and away you go, or you might be doing a carport and put the EV, EV PV on there. Uh, but if you've got a site already with storage, batteries, this sort of stuff, three phase inverter, you can also put this in, which works exactly the same as if it was built in, but you have uh, more options, more modular options. So this talks to the home automation through the Solar Edge cloud and can be controlled through the app. Yep. Fantastic. So let's yep. have a look at the integrated system. Um, so what are we calling this one here? Well, this is our EV charging inverter. Yep. Uh, as opposed to the standalone. And uh, so the component that's inside the, the DCD on this inverter here yep. is actually the same component that's inside our standalone unit. So what's special about this inverter? What's different about it than the conventional one? Uh, the EV charging. So you can, if you have a look at the one on the other wall there later, you can get it with a plug-in cable, so you can buy the inverter, stick it on the wall, your customer may not have an EV just at that stage, and they can upgrade it later on just by buying a cable and plugging in. So it's still an AC output? Still an AC output, yes. Yeah. So they're both AC uh, coupled, the chargers are AC coupled to the installation. And it can still export energy to the grid or to the home installation, but it can optimise energy to your car. Yeah, so instead of uh, exporting energy and then charging your car when you come home, yep. or whichever way you, you run your property, this yep. way you can directly so what are we looking at here, Adrian? Okay, so we've got a few new products coming on board. Uh, we have our 1500 watt optimizer, which is uh, two to four modules. So that's a dual MPPT. And the advantage of that is you're, you're getting more uh, PV through uh, at one package. Uh, we also have our uh, GPU, which is our, our evolution of our CCG product. So this has uh, CT inputs, uh, voltage inputs. It basically becomes your plant controller, your grid protection unit, uh, your grid protection relay controller, uh, and one-stop shop for that. So uh, metering for our inverters, um, all those sorts of uh, settings you might require by using a third-party product. Cool. Uh, and this is also built on a Linux play program uh, platform, which is the, the basis of our Synergy inverter range as well. So the Synergy inverters uh, with our Linux uh, platform, we're able to use our setup, which is the phone uh, programming system. So with that, we can uh, commission a whole site, program the inverters, all through a phone app. That becomes a screen for inverter. We've also got an increase in our power ranges. So uh, traditionally, our larger 400 volt inverter was 27.6 kilowatts. This is now 33.3. And the advantage of that is you can now buy a 100 kVA inverter 400 volt. Tell me that's a 100 kilowatt 100 kVA. system. Yeah. Wow. At 400 volts or 120 kVA at 480 volts. Wow. So we do have sites going in where there's maybe 30 of these inverters running at, at 480. Yeah. And on those sites they put a transformer in from 480 to high voltage. 
but the advantage of going to the, the higher power range in our inverters is we can do a 100 kVA package at 400 volts. It doesn't require a transformer. So your, tra your traditional 100 kilowatt PV systems, you can also put a 100 kilowatt inverter in. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, and of course, these are, these are modular. Uh, and if you have a uh, initially one of your power units, you can actually replace that power unit. And our isolators are four. Uh, uh, they're a three-channel isolator. They're five double three compliance uh, for load breaking and also um, isolating the DC. So these are all rated uh, and interlocked. Cool. So what am I looking at here? Oh, well, it's a solar panel. Oh yeah, it's a solar panel. I've seen a lot of those. It's solar panel. Yeah. So why is it on the solar edge down? Well, it's uh, it looks nice. We've got a nice uh, black frame back backing sheet. Lots of uh, these, are, these are 300 watt uh, solar modules. This is this particular module is a glass on glass. And so uh, we'll rotate it around. You'll be able to see the. Um, let's go this way. You'll be able to see the the glass back on this one. Obviously, that's a, yep. this is a feature that uh, a lot of manufacturers are utilising. Uh, it's a, it's a, a long, more durable than uh, your, your plastic back systems. However, we do have the plastic back one as well. Um, a, there's probably a bit of a price difference there. But these also are a solar edge product, so uh, they have an integrated optimizer. Uh, on this unit here, we've got the optimizer on the top of the frame. And on the, uh, the, the glass back, we have one on the side here. It's hard to see this there. So a, this, is, this product can only be bought through solar edge, this particular module. Uh, we have this um, specifically uh, uh, packaged uh, and designed for, for our, our product. Um, and uh, we're expecting to see uh, a lot of interest in this product. 300 watts, we, we could have done a slightly higher wattage panel, but we, we scaled it back to 300 because it's a better size for, for sizing systems. Uh, Torture distributors, these are actually the, the, the standard panel is, uh, is being shipped out on the water, so maybe three, four weeks, check with distributors about the availability of those. And then the, the, the glass back, the glass on glass is uh, available uh, Q1 2019, Q1 or Q2 something. So this is an exciting product as well. So one stop shop, uh, it's, it's our product. Um, some people say, do you manufacture the cells? Well, we don't manufacture the capacitors in our inverters either. But we select the products based on their quality and based on their, our dependability on, on the product. And the other thing is we have our optimization on there. So we can see, you can see our product, how it's working. We can see how it's working. We're not likely to choose a product that you're going to use our product to see if it's not working properly. So we, we want to make sure we've got quality products and make sure the customer gets that benefit. I guess it makes for a very speedy install. You're not yeah. having to mount the optimizer. Yeah, yeah it's already uh, it's a pre-packaged uh, unit. Yep. It's a one-stop shop. With, you know, we, we've got our inverters, we've got our solar panels, we've got optimized solar panels. We've got some more other exciting products coming out next year, which we won't talk about right now, but uh, we're, we're looking at a, a whole package uh, for our product range. Thank you. Right, so what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at our uh, evolution of our products. So, as you know, we have our traditional HD wave inverters, which you've got in your workshop. Uh, our new HD wave inverter, you might notice something missing on here, and that's the screen. So what we're doing is we're moving away from the components that, um, that uh, may not have, live as long, depending on the environmental conditions, as the whole inverter. We have a 12-year warranty out of the box, extendable to 25 years for the residential products. And uh, we, in the evolution of our product, going to the Linux operating system allows us to do more with the product. So we have uh, uh, the setup program for setup op, uh, app for programming the system. And we also have our display for our customers. So the customers say, well, there's no little screen on there. And to be honest, the, uh, the screens, there's not only so much information you get on the screen on the inverter. So now we have the option to install a uh, dedicated uh, uh, tablet, which is the inverter screen, the full system screen. It's, it's uh, wirelessly connected directly to the inverter. So you get far more data than you do off the inverter screen. Uh, you get your production for the day. You can have your, your layout of your modules, um, your automation, and other details about your performance system, voltage, current, and stuff like that. So this is all based on our Linux operating system once again. So it gives us much more range in our, in our products in programming. We also have our, in addition to our automation range, we have our solar edge manufactured 5 kilowatts emergency controller. This is IP rated. So uh, we've, we've uh, progressed our range up to a 5 kilowatt package. We make it in house, put it on the wall outside in the weather. It's, it's not an issue. The whole back is like a mini inverter. And it's construction, so the whole back's a heat sink. Condor is on the bottom. Uh, and similar programming to we do now on our inverter systems. 
Uh, this, this package here is 5 kilowatts rating, so you can do maybe 2 2, two point four kilowatt elements or a 4.8 kilowatt element, and you're good to go. I see you've got the dry contact switch as well. Dry contact switch. What's that for? Same package as the AC relay as well. Uh, uh, dry contact switch, of course, is great for integrating into air conditioning systems and the like. So I was helping you guy design one earlier today. And the AC switch is what you might use for like your pool pump controller or something simple where you just turn the AC uh, off and on to it. And this product is uh, quite effective. Um, simply the wireless link from here to your inverter saves all the wiring. It's very uh, flexible in the way you can install it. Uh, and uh, very versatile. I've had this running for now for about a minute two years in my place. That's pretty good. So a home could uh, have uh, a charger, solar, a version controller, air conditioning. It sounds like you're controlling the whole home. We don't want to it, it, it does sound like it, but we don't want to go as far as changing the lights in your lounge room, changing the colours, or, or, or printing a Darth Vader face on your toast when you put your bread in in the morning, which some uh, uh, IoT devices do. No, we're looking at low, uh, large power groups or you know central power groups that are going to be run every day or every seasonal, uh, where you need to divert that uh, bulk power, which you would normally send out to the grid. Yeah. So it's all about the, the automation. Is home automation is about the the battery. It's like a batteryless battery. Okay. If you can use your power when you make it, it's more efficient than storing it chemically and then pulling it back out again later. And uh, water is also a very efficient method of storing energy. So if you can heat your water, and heat it once, put your energy into it, then you just turn the tap and pour it on yourself. Your job done. Right. Well, I'm super impressed. Solar Edge keep coming up with new stuff and I can see there's some wonderful products here at the show. Thanks a lot, Adrian. We have one more. Oh, all right, so what have we got here? So this is uh, something we've been talking about for a while. Uh, it is uh, something we've launched in Europe. Uh, and uh, the, it is a three phase, three to 10 kVA inverter, which also runs 48 volt battery. And being a 48 volt battery gives you a bit more agnostics with your battery technology. Um, uh, less, uh, more flexibility, I guess, in what you choose. Uh, and the, uh, uh, the, uh, the challenge we have for Australia, of course, is our, our array voltage. So the Australian version will have the DCD, the uh, 600 volt max array protection circuits and stuff in the bottom to suit the Australian requirements. Does it work with any 48 volt battery? Well, there's a range here that we're, we're integrating with. Uh, and if, as a matter of fact, RFI have a battery over on their stand there with this inverter. Uh, the same questions we expect is, you know, what voltage does the arrow run at? Um, this one here for Europe, in Europe they can run DC plugs without isolators, they don't kill themselves somehow, I'm not sure how they do it, but they manage it right over there. In Australia we're a bit more worried about stuff like that, so once again we're going to go towards a product which has the uh, the switches and the uh, conjured entries for, for Australian product, for Australian right. market. Great. And this is the existing product for battery? Single phase backup, yeah. Single phase with a backup unit. That's right. So the three phase doesn't, doesn't do backup at this stage. However, we, have a, we are working on a whole of house backup product, which is uh, essentially can take three phase loads and if there's a blackout, switch them to a single phase backup inverter. And when the power's restored, put them back onto the individual three phase uh, supply. So we are working on a whole of house. We have a whole of house backup in the US and we have one in, in Europe as well and we're bringing that to Australia. Thanks, Adrian. Thank you. You're welcome.